Very much not feeling awake. Ah! Gently with my car, please. Taking Jasper to preschool. And that's that done. Check this out, something I just noticed. See that? Those are yesterday's trips to and from preschool and this morning's trip to and from preschool. I was just amazed how consistent the sort of shape of these bits of the graph are. It really speaks to the efficiency and predictability of power usage in an EV. Seriously need to get cracking? Because my hard drive has run out of space again. I should just get them online. But as I said to Soph this morning, if I do that, then I don't leave the house. And there's something to be said for actually going places occasionally. Apart from anything, it makes for a much more interesting vlog post. Besides, any excuse for a drive. I wonder if the new GoPro Hero 5s are out yet. I'm guessing that's a no. Now, where are they hiding the hard drives? Uh -huh. You're not gonna believe this. I don't have my wallet with me. You know why I don't have my wallet with me? Because when I go out and I think I'm gonna need a variety of cameras, I take my camera bag, which has got everything, the gimbal, the Canon 70D, the whole lot, it all just fits in there perfectly. So what I do is I put my wallet in there as well so I don't have to carry two bags around, which makes perfect sense until you forget to take it out of the bag and put it back in the normal bag I take, which is what's happened today. There we go, put this back where it belongs. I'm gonna give a sandwich as well because one of the reasons why this has annoyed me as much as it has is because I'm starving hungry. <laughs> You know, my diet's going quite well, so that's good. Righty, I've sort of done quite a bit of traveling recently. Well, traveling. Going to events where I've taken basically all my cameras. So I'm going to show you the wonder that is my camera bag. So what have we got in this bag of wonders? Well, firstly, Gorilla Pod thing. And this is where I keep my wallet as well. Plenty of room in there for a wallet, and also spare micro SD cards, things like that. You probably noticed this. Yep, that is the gimbal. Kind of won't fit in the whole bag because, well, it's like a foot long. Canon 70D in there is where I put the camera I'm currently shooting with when I'm not using it. Microphone for the Canon 70D in here spare batteries in here we've got more spare batteries microphone for the GoPro more spare batteries lots of batteries the gimbal pop my phone in there on this little pouch on the side because it wouldn't actually fit in the bag we've got the GoPro plus its car mount. And then these little netting bits at the side, I've got some filters, microphone for the GoPro when it's in the car. So yeah, all in all, this bag is brilliant. Now I need to just uh, get it all back in. And I need to be quite quick with that because um, I'm actually gonna be late for Jasper at preschool otherwise. And the make of this camera bag is Camlink. Cheap and cheerful, it was like 25 quid or 20 quid or something, so I was really happy with that. Did you hear about the Hero 5 series of cameras from GoPro? There's gonna be a black edition one with a screen on the back, a session. The good thing about the session is the Hero 4 session only shoots up to a bit above 1080p, whereas the Hero 5 session can do 4K. He hasn't had a sleep in the afternoon for two days running, so 
It's a good thing he's having one today because small children, overtired, mm -mm, not good. In fact, I think good sleep for a small child is probably one of the most important factors in determining whether they're going to be well behaved or not. Did you hear about the new Karma drone from GoPro? I can definitely understand why they're getting into the drone side of things. I've no idea if it's any good. Interesting design decision, having the camera right up front there. Uh, hopefully they've sort of done the maths and worked out how to keep the blades out of the picture when traveling forwards, which is one of the big sort of difficulties with any quadcopter that I've come across. And the other thing to remember is of course, they don't have a huge amount of experience in flight controls and that sort of thing. And that's really where you know, certain companies like DJI, that's where they kind of, really stand out, you know, waypoints and course lock and all these intelligent functions. And then you've got the, you know, the obstacle avoidance technologies, they're pretty good too. And you would presumably not get any of that with the Karma, at least not the first version. But on the upside, it does fold, which would be good because uh, my drone is quite big. Well, the bag it's in is quite big anyway. Uh, I've got to go and finish the editing for the day. And then I am think I'm gonna have a bit of a lie down because I'm knackered. Still, just on the one coffee a day though, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it and subscribe if you haven't already and share it. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. You know, I think this is about the first time I've forgotten my wallet since I started taking a bag round with me. That's what I liked about bags.